Hi students, welcome to the class. In this video, we are going to learn about the universe and the earth. This is the first lesson from 7th class, New Silvers. Children, here I am showing one picture. What things do you observe from the picture? Yes, stars, galaxy, earth. Okay, I am asking another question. Which among them appear during the day? And which things appear during the night? The sun appear during the daytime. And the moon, stars, planets, all these things appear during the night. Okay. What do we call all these objects collectively? Universe. Children, in previous class, you have learned the concepts about the earth and the solar system. In this chapter, we are going to learn about the origin of the universe, the solar system and the earth and earth's environment in details. Let's learn about the universe. The universe. The universe is a vast space that contains many unimaginable elements. It includes the sun, planets, the Milky Way galaxy and all other galaxies. Nobody knows how big the universe is. The range of the universe is infinite. Infinite means Anantamainadi. And the science that studies the universe is called astronomy. Astronomy is in English language. This is called cosmology in Russian language. Scientific research in astronomy began with Italian astronomer. His name is Galileo. He made a device called telescope. When Galileo first looked at the sky, through this instrument, he saw many wonders unknown to him. Can you guess what did he see in the sky? Let's learn about origin of the universe. There are many theories about the origin of the universe. One among them is Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory was first proposed by Belgian astronomer. His name was Georges Lemaitre. Solar system puttuko gurinchi chala theory sunnai. Andulo Big Bang Theory okati. E theory ni proposed chasin the avruante Belgian desaniki chindina twenty Georges Lemaitre. Astronomer means Kogod Sastra and Adenu Chesavalni astronomer under. He strongly believed that the present universe began and has expanding from a tiny atom about 13.7 billion years ago. That means 13.7 billion years ago, one chinna anuvu nundi prarambamai netiki ee saurukutumu vistharistu undi. The tiny atom was like a small ball with infinite temperature and infinite density. Infinite means Anantamaina 20 Ushnogurata, Anantamaina 20 density Kaligi unde than Mata. As a result, stars, galaxy, planets, satellites, celestial objects are formed in the universe. Vismiyoka Vistarana Netiki Jarutune undi. Let's learn about solar system. Our solar system is made up of the sun and the eight planets. Do you remember eight planet names? Repeat with me. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The solar system also has satellites, comets, asteroids and meteoroids. And scientists estimated the solar system was formed about 4.6 billion years ago. Now, origin of the solar system. There are many various theories about origin of the solar system. Some of the important theories among them are first one is geocentric theory. Geocentric theory means Bhukendraka Siddhantam. This theory was proposed by Egyptian astronomer named Ptolemy. Second one is heliocentric theory. This theory was proposed by 
Polish astronomer named Nicholas Copernicus. According to him, the sun is the center of the universe. The planets, satellites and all other celestial bodies revolving around the sun. The third one is planets and satellites. This is nebular hypothesis. According to nebular hypothesis, the planets were formed out of a cloud of dust and gases associated with the sun. This is the first Surini to sammandu unna dhooli mariyu vayavul to kudina megalu nundi planets and satellites to airpaddai yani chepadun jirigindhi. This theory developed by Immanuel Kant. Children, remaining concepts, they are the earth, environment and components of environment, disaster management, all those things we will learn in next video. Children, here I am asking some questions. You write answers for these questions. First one is, what is the solar system? Second question is, what is called astronomy? Third question is, who proposed geocentric theory? For these questions, write answers in your notebook. Thank you for watching. Bye.